Blika stjörnur bast og tvist We're Moses Hightower, uh, an Icelandic pop group, I guess. I think we just write songs about whatever we're thinking at the moment, you know? We had a deadline, yeah, and that was the movie that was playing. I was like, that guy, he's the coolest guy, you know. Why do I not remember that? Maybe you weren't there. I wasn't there either. I it got was, a text was, from you. Yeah, I was like, hey, is this okay? Many songs are, are jammed. Yeah. 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 We often record the songs, the rhythm tracks, before we've written the songs. So and then we have to just kind of mix and match it. Maybe after we, you know, we've laid down the tracks and the song is kind of written after we record it. So the melodies they are almost always written after the, yeah. Yeah. the basic harmony groove thing. Yeah. And some of the songs are also written in the studio, kind of. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like On both albums, we had some we had some tracks that we just finished. Yeah, they were ready. A couple of hours before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, even if I said pop music earlier, it's always a product of what we love and listen to and yeah, we yeah, yeah. grew up with. And we make the kind of stuff we want to listen to, you know? Have that sensibility, hopefully. Yeah. Mm. Me, at least, I listen to music that is not related to our music at all. But still, when we, when we write, we fall into this vibe of the band, yeah, so that yeah. we influence ourselves in a way. We've been playing together for like eight years. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. But is in a math rock band. Well, we listen to a lot of jazz and whatever. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. So, and yeah, but still, so many things that we listen to don't find their way in, the, in this band, yeah. maybe in other projects. But, yeah. Yeah. Or not all of it at the same time, at least, you know? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Probably not a conscious inspiration. I mean, we're not trying to write about geysers or something. But maybe but, we should. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's the song we should write. <laughs> but I think it's a lot easier for you guys to see it, you know, because obviously, if in the ways that this country is different from your country or something, it must have something to do with something, you know. But I don't think that it's something we're aiming for at all. But you're always a product of where you, where you are, I guess. No. Maybe trends, you know, in Iceland at some time, but... I mean, maybe, probably not anymore. And also no band that plays like Seagros or something like that. No. But I, yeah, but I don't yeah. think that has anything to do with like a specific Icelandic sound. No. It's just, you know, people yeah. doing what it, they want it's to do. It's making more that if there's one band like Sigurós, then no, then no, nobody wants to. People maybe on purpose try not to do yeah. too yeah. much of that because yeah, it's they, so small here. They don't want to be no. like a poor man Sigurós, you know, because yeah. they're be, already really good at that. Be too, so. Yeah, yeah. it be too small for that. Yeah, so maybe, yeah, try yeah. to do something different and you'll have a chance at having some kind of identity, you know? Yeah. There's a there's a vibe of like this kind of introvert thing. I've heard this from people in Germany, for example. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have any... calmness yeah. and you know just the attitude of Icelandic people. That's maybe the vibe. 
Yeah, there's a lot of electronic stuff going on there. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. and if you're an introvert, that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That explains <laughs> yeah. kind of the thing. Yeah. It's probably more a generational thing, you know, you know, a group of people who start playing a certain kind of music, you know, it's, and they influence each other and then they grow up and then maybe the next group comes along, but I don't think it's, I think it's like that in every place, you know, it's just nice. Yeah.